Hello, everyone, and welcome to Thursday, and welcome to a big old bins haul, as per usual. So today, I, yes, of course, have a bins haul for you guys. I believe that this is two bins trips put together. I went this week, and I went last week. But I've got quite a bunch of good stuff, as per usual. I have a couple pair of shoes. I have some men's. I have some women's. Of course, I have some summer, spring, and I have some fall, winter, everything. So I got a lot to show you guys today but i hope you're all having a good day and a good latter half of your week today it is so freaking nice outside i have been in gardening mode and outdoor work mode all day i finally was able to mow all of the lawn and i've been chopping down branches of trees i've been putting plants in i've been pulling weeds out like i've been doing everything so also i guess if you see any like dirt or injuries on my hands that's what it's from which oh my gosh okay short little rant little garden rant so sorry but i have been dying all year since i heard about them to get this plant it's a hydrangea called the eclipse hydrangea it is a hydrangea that has dark like purple almost black leaves i know me can't believe it that i'd want that and it grows these like wine currants like cranberry colored flowers it's beautiful i'm not a hydrangea person but i love those ones and i really want to get them first year they've ever been out they actually were created in minnesota i heard about them on our local news. I was dead set. I was like, I need to find them. They are super hard to find. But today I was at Home Depot and they had this small cart of like eight to 10 of them. So I snatched three of them and I got them. And I'm so excited over the moon because even like reading about them after getting them and how to plant them and whatever, everything was like, oh, these are really hard to find. They've been like in really high demand this year. So I get home. I want to put them in our front landscaping, which is right now like wood chips and mulch. And there's two weird random bushes that were there when we moved in. I'm almost done with this rant. Don't click off yet. And I dig through the mulch to get to the dirt where I'm going to plant them. And there's like two feet of just rock. So now I have three hydrangeas that I need to plant somewhere. But clearly, our front landscaping is just going to be for ornamental decor because there's literally no way I can plant anything there. And I'm so mad. I mean, knowing that beforehand, I still would have bought them because I want some of them. But like, what? The people who had this house before us, I'm like, what were you doing? Anyways, let's let's talk about what we're here for. Sorry for that long one. I just like, I, <laughs> I had to rant to someone about that. And I know like a lot of you guys will leave comments more about like, personal life and how's the weather and stuff which is great because like we ask that frequently but i feel like we don't always deliver that stuff besides on sundays but anyways whatever okay so i have stuff to show you guys we're gonna hop into it so i'm gonna show you the two pairs of shoes first and i'm not like super excited about either of them so not to be anticlimactic first up is this pair of sandals slide sandals as you can see right here by the little bit of lettering left which maybe you can't even tell i could tell by i think this one these are free people sandals. There, you can tell a little bit better there. When I picked them up, I knew they were in bad shape. So I was like, I'm just gonna price these low, but I mean, I'm not gonna skip them because they're so seasonally appropriate, but they're in much worse shape than I thought. But they're still totally usable, but like the backs have been worn a little bit. There's toe prints. There's just like a decent amount of wear. So I'm just gonna price these really low, like 25 bucks or something, and I will take offers. They're size seven. I mean, if they were in better shape, they'd be cute. But I guess if I had looked closer, especially there, I wouldn't have got them. There's even some like splitting up here. <laughs> like I'm losing my touch. I'm losing the talent. It's all fading away quickly. Next up is the other pair of shoes. Now these also have a little bit to be desired. And honestly, <laughs> And honestly, when I spotted these, I kind of thought they were Ultra Zara. Aquazura? Aquazura, I think is what I'm thinking of. Because they make a lot of like really, really high heels that are kind of platform like this. But they're not, though they are a really, really high-end brand. And they are Alayas. So that's an Alaya! You don't understand. This is an Alaya. And a what? -a? <sighs> it's like a totally important designer. It's an Alaya. These, I'm going to be sending into the real real. I don't want to sell these. These are not a style that I see selling very well. They're not in the best shape. There's like a little bit of like wear there. They've got some bottom wear. There is wear at the heels a bit, like here. I just don't want to sell them. I just don't. 
but I wasn't gonna skip them. If you don't know Alaya's, like Alaya is an extremely high-end pair of shoes, but they're really expensive. They're super high-end. I don't think that they're super popular anymore, but they're definitely worth getting at like the bins are really cheap. Next up I have two of very similar pieces. So they're Carhartt coats. I am sure that the vintage people wanted to <laughs> chase me through the streets like the people in the town chasing Frankenstein's monster. I found two really, really good 90s, early 2000s, like beat up, worked in Carhartt coats and vintage and street wear sellers like love to sell these. But the thing is, I also love to sell these. So I was like, mm, I'm gonna take these because they came out right in front of me. So this one is a men's medium. As you can see right there, it's just of course like the Carhartt label. It has pilling on the like flannelly interior. It has stains. It has rub wear, it has like spots and speckles and strings coming out and all kinds of stuff. There's wear at the hardware, but that's like the name of the game with these. That's what people like about them. I even bought a Carhartt Halloween jacket from Online Ceramics and it came looking as if it had been in like a rat's nest, but that's like the thing. So this is great. This will do super, super well. And I'm super excited to have found it. I guarantee you, there's two of them. I guarantee you that both of these will be within the next two What Sold Sundays, probably. So this is another one. This one actually does not have a size in it. It has like the same interior, like receipt like label, but I don't see a size anywhere. But like the same label, and I would assume it's the same. It looks like the same size and it was with the other one. So I assume that it is another men's medium. Once again, we got the good old just like destroyed, tattered, thrashed, as people call it. Look to this. There are marks. There are stains. This has been worked in for like 20 plus years. And again, that's exactly what people like from these. This one's actually like a quilted nylon on the inside. It's a little nicer on the inside than that one. They have slightly different pockets, so it's definitely a slightly different model. I don't know that much about them to know, but y'all, these are like gold. They do really, really well in the men's market, in the like men's fashion world. All right, so let's get into the clothing. Two different days worth of trips, but I kind of have basically one trip worth. I didn't go super long either day. This is actually gonna be something that I keep for a little while. This is a Rails shirt. It's a size large and it's actually men's. I have never found Rails men's. I wish I had before, but kind of like Farm Rio, Rails makes men's just kind of like shirts like this. Men's large, it's gonna be a little big on me, but that's okay because I actually need this for a Hawaiian like theme party that I'm gonna be going to. So I'm gonna use this and then I'm gonna sell it right after. I am not really a like Hawaiian shirt type person. <laughs> I am not, I'm not really a Hawaiian shirt type person. I really just don't like stuff with palm trees on it. I really just don't like anything tropical. I don't wear anything like that ever, never have I ever. That was really smart. Okay, so yeah, yes, I am wearing a tropical Hawaiian-like polo right now. That could not have been timed worse. For the most part, I am not a Hawaiian or tropical person, honestly, like in any way. I don't like tropical flavors. I was just talking about this with Ryan the other day. I don't like tropical flavors. Like I don't like mango at all. I don't like real mangoes. Pineapple's okay, but as a flavor, I don't really like it. Citrusy stuff isn't like my favorite. I don't like palm tree things. I don't like ropes and like seashells all over everything. I'm like, that's where I differ from Debbie a lot because that's like her aesthetic. But for me, not really. Okay, next up is a sweater, and this is such a soft sweater. So this is cashmere, and it is such nice cashmere. This is Vince, and it is a size small. And now that I think about it, I don't think it is, but I wonder if this is men's. I really don't think so, but I guess like there's a chance. I think this is an oversized, like newer piece from Vince. I do need to sweater shave it. It does need a little bit of love. Yeah, especially with the split, I don't think that it's men's, but it's 100% cashmere, so nice. This is like, this is like cloud cashmere. It is like so freaking soft. There's no way I was gonna skip that. Another piece that needs a little love. 
And then that's it for my like sweaters that need some love. Look at how cute this is. Look at how cute this cardigan is. This is why like I could never only buy seasonally because like you're not gonna catch me skipping this even if it's the hottest day of July. Absolutely not. So this is rails size small. Rails non-flannels usually don't do very well but I think that this is gonna do quite well. I also could totally see this being anthro I don't know if it is because I haven't looked yet. Almost all of this is listed except these couple things that I need to do some work on. So next up is another men's piece. And suddenly I'm like finding this stuff everywhere and I couldn't be happier because I love to sell this brand. So this is a pair of shorts by Chubbies once again. Look at that amazing seagull with his, oh my gosh, he's got boots on too. I knew he had a hat. I didn't know he had boots. Size medium and it's a five and a half inch inseam. These I just think are some like summer beach shorts. I don't think they're swim because they're more of like a cotton. But the motif all over or the graphic is that same seagull. Just all over. Rocking it out with his hat and his boots. I literally, I literally love that. It's so cute. Next up is a pair of pants. And it's funny because I knew what these were as soon as I saw them. And there actually ended up being no label in them. So these are some linen wide leg striped kind of like nautical style pants. The front is just a normal waistband, but the back is like a super stretchy elastic waistband. Again, no label, but I think I've had these before. So I was like, let me check. These say J. Crew Corp, but these are actually Madewell. So these are some Madewell pants. They're from 2018. They're the H6316. This is one of the rare occasions where I'm probably going to list the style number so people know that it's Madewell. And then of course I'm also going to have to measure the measurements. I'd say these are maybe like a medium or large. They're super nice and of course like these will do great at this time of year so I was not going to skip them even without a label. Then we have a pair of shorts. These are really really cute. Ryan was almost tempted to like take these for me as like pajama shorts I think. But these are daily practice which actually if you did not know is an anthro brand. It's not super common. It's like their active wear and like lounge comfort wear brand. These are size large. I love this print. I love this color. They're not meant to be pajama shorts. I just think that Ryan kind of wanted to have them as pajama shorts. These are so cute. Those should do really really well. I mean he didn't actually want to keep them. He like joked about it and I was like okay do you want them or not? <laughs> These are size made well. Let's redo that one. <laughs> Cut on set. Um can we could we do that scene again? These are size small Madewell shorts. <laughs> and these are blue. And these have stripes in their shorts. So these are some really nice, once again, like spring summer shorts. They feel like a linen blend, but they honestly might not really have linen in them. They at least are like mainly cotton. 90% cotton, 10% lyocell. Really, really adorable. Good, once again, like beach or summer shorts. I'm probably gonna end up consigning these. I don't really know why I put these into my sell myself pile, but I'll probably consign them. I also need to get that one tiny grease stain out, which is so easy. But this is Point Sir, which is J. Crew, And I always think of it as like newer label of J. Crew, but now Point Sir is old because Point Sir is from like 2018. So that's like really old. <laughs> I think it was like 20, what, 17 through like 20 maybe? I don't know. Size four, I don't really know why they had this label. I don't know why J. Crew can never just like settle, like chill out and settle on like one label or one line or whatever. Like they have to rename everything all the time so I will probably end up consigning those but they are listed for now. This is probably my favorite pair of pants that I found. These are freaking adorable and I'll show you the style before I even show you the brand and stuff. These are some corduroy green flared boot cut pants. These are so cute. I love the color to them and these are by Pilcro or Anthropology. These are the high trouser high rise trouser boot cut size 26. Seven. They got the little pocket details at the front. They got pockets at the back. I just love these. These will do so well. Corduroy has been kind of having a moment for like jackets, shirts, like tops, pants, kind of everything. Then we have a pair of shorts and these are some boys Patagonia shorts. So these are like a really popular style for men. They're the baggy shorts, which I mean, I assume that means they're also popular for kids. These are a five inch inseam regular fit. They retail for 45 bucks and they're a size large or 12. They're from 2022. I don't often do like boys and kids, but of course new with tags and stuff, I was totally gonna pick 
those up. And this, I think, is my last pair of pants. So these, I totally got for, well, I mean, they caught my attention because of style. So these are some super, super wide leg flared sweatpants with all this like weird distressing all throughout. They're actually really nice cotton. And these are by Airy. So Airy, I'm really, really picky with, especially like for selling myself. It's gotta be within the past like two years. So these are extra small, regular length. And these are from the middle of 2022. So they're like exactly two years old. So I looked them up. They have really cute like blogger pictures and a model picture that's really cute. So I will be selling these myself. That totally sold me on them. Cause like Aerie can do good, just like American Eagle, if it's the right piece. And I think that that's the right piece. This one I'm not as sure, <laughs> as sure on. So this is super in style. I mainly am not sure because I can't find a model picture. <laughs> But super in style, this is another airy piece. It's like a lace trim cami, which of course has been so popular lately. It's in this like evergreen color. It also is an extra, extra large, which especially from like a kind of junior-y mall brand is not common. So I really like that. This is from 2022 as well. So that's why I want to give this a shot. I think if I find a model picture, this will do good because it's kind of a hard color to take a picture of. So I just really want to find the model picture. Then we have a really pretty dress. Now this is a dress by Love Shack Fancy, but don't get too excited because it's Target. But Love Shack Fancy is one of the Target collaborations that can still sell well. So this is a size large, which also I really like because even with this type of stuff, you just always find like extra small and stuff. This is beautiful. I really, really like this dress. It's like rose printed all throughout. It's tiered. And it's like a longer midi length. So it's more of like a shin or past the knee midi length. This is so cute. And obviously like the farther away we get from when Love Shack Fancy and Target collabed, which was what? Oh, that's gonna make me feel old too. Like 2019? I'm pretty sure it was pre-Janine 19. So 2019. <sighs> so they get harder and harder to find as they get older. <laughs> as I get older, as Love Shack Fantasy gets older. <laughs> so this next piece is, I believe, pajamas. This is J. Crew, and I think anytime it says keep away from fire on it, it's pajamas for some reason. But this is such a pretty pajama top. It almost gives like a Liberty London print look to it. Super freaking cute. It's a size medium. Pajamas always do good. This would be great for Mother's Day, though there is no way in the world that even if someone bought something today, I could get it to them by Mother's Day. I don't believe, unless maybe they lived in my state. So a good late Mother's Day gift, maybe. <laughs> Next up is another J. Crew piece, and it is this weird little like J. Crew tag. This is cashmere, and that's why I picked this up. So it's a super, super, super nice condition, like white kind of cream cashmere turtleneck. 100% cashmere, once again, super soft. I had to get it with how good a condition this is. Like there's no way this was worn more than like four or five times. It's still so soft and there is like not a single stain, no holes, no anything. No size in that for some reason. I think it's kind of like a small possibly. Now, if you watched the consign with me that went up on Tuesday, this brand is probably going to ring a bell because I was trying to get rid of a different piece by them. And then I was like, oh yeah, I have a new piece by this brand that I'm going to be listing this week. And that is Finley. So Finley is, that is an F. It looks like a T because of how they sewed this in. So Finley is kind of a lag and look brand. I don't really know, but it's sold at like Saks and Nordstrom, I believe. This is a size large. All their stuff is like, they kind of like Lafayette 148 style. Like, I guess professional. It's like more like uninteresting. There's not usually prints. There's not usually like that much going on and it's kind of like oversized, I don't know. But this is a plaid metallic ruffle top. So this is probably the most interesting Finley that I've ever seen. Again, I was just trying to consign a different piece of theirs that I have. So we'll see if this one meets the same fate. But like a blouse like this would be like $200 from Finley. So it's hard to skip it at the bins. 
And again, I do kind of like that one. I don't know. This is a J. Crew again. This is a size 10 J. Crew, and I really like this dress. It gives like goth, kind of witchy, Mistress of the Night, Elvira vibes, I feel like. So it's like a, I think it's not necessarily black. It's very, very close to black. It's a really dark, like gray, kind of like almost like a brown, brown gray color, velvet, button front dress with this like square neckline. Super cute, puff sleeves, really soft. I'm, this is, and okay. <laughs> so this, I kind of thought was gonna be an older piece and I was like, I'll still get it to consign. It's actually from 2021. Again, I do really like the style. So I don't think I'm gonna list it super high just cause like, I feel like most people prefer the J. Crew like printed stuff or cashmere, but I like it. So I'm gonna list it, but again, just not like, crazy high. Then we actually have another pajama shirt. This is Madewell. This is a size small Madewell. And once again, I know it's pajamas because you shouldn't have it by fire. So if you have a Madewell silk blouse, feel free to stand right next to a fire. But if you have the cotton pajamas on, you better move away. <laughs> like, I, why does the pajama, like, is it because the thought is, like, you'd more likely be around, like, a bonfire in pajamas than you would in other clothing? Or why? Someone tell me. Because you guys always know the answer to everything. And that's not in a bad way. Like, I love that you guys can always, like, fill me in on this stuff. Why does pajama require the, like, no, no fires? What's the difference? Why, like, why, why can't I, why, why can't I have this by a fire, but I could have, like, a Madewell flannel? I don't know. Madewell pajamas, moral of the story. <laughs> These are size small, just, they are like flannel. Again, this is kind of another one that you could just wear probably like out. It just feels like a flannel, not, it doesn't like scream pajamas to me. This, okay, I'm noticing a trend here. So this is a really cute uh, bikini top and it has these like shells. It gave kind of Agua Medita. So that's what really drew me into this. It's just so pretty. I love these colors. I love the print. It's very like subtle, but quirky and whimsical at the same time. No label. And I was like, oh, this just seems, it seems like a nice bikini top. The stitching is super nice. The print is really cute and not like ugly. So I reverse image searched it and this is made well. So I don't know who has all this made well that they just don't want people to know is made well, but I'm catching on to them and I'm finding all the pieces and I'm figuring it out. So this is a Madewell swim top. I would guess this is a large. It's I think 15 inches across unstretched at the bottom, but bras and sports bras and bikinis are so much harder to just like base off of measurements, but I feel like that's like a large. Then we have a new Bolo brand. And I think I feel pretty confident in saying that this is a Bolo already. So unassuming by the name, it's called Toast. Toast. <laughs> Toast. 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 I really liked the dress. Really pretty. This like diamond, almost like batik. I don't know exactly if this is batik, but it gives like a batik look. Really beautiful dress. And I was like, oh my gosh, this looks so nice. What is it? And then when I saw the label, I was like, toast? Um... Probably not good, but okay. But then I looked it up and actually these are really expensive. So toast is worth a lot of money. These are like $275 for their dresses new. And it's kind of like they mainly make dresses and they're all basically priced at like 278 or whatever. So this one's cute, sleeveless, it has pockets. It's made in India. It is 100% cotton, really, really nice. This should do well. I, like I said, have basically all this listed. And this already has like, I think I just listed it this morning and I think I had like three or two or three likes already, but it's been getting a lot of like attention. So that's great. Next up is a scarf and this is not Pendleton and I don't think it's even um, HBC. Um, oh my gosh, what is it? HBC. <laughs> it's gonna come to me randomly. This pattern, this print that Pendleton like collabs with who makes these stripes, HBC. <laughs> I can't think of it. Okay, anyways, scarf. Really nice scarf, 10 inches by 72 inches. This is by Faribault Woolen Mills, which let me remind you is like 
what, only half an hour from Ryan and I's house. They are like kind of the Minnesota Pendleton. This scarf is in such good condition and these scarves are like 60 bucks. So I totally wanted to pick that up. Then we have a sweater dress. And once again, it's by J. Crew. So I don't know what's up with all the like Madewell and J. Crew this time. It's a size extra small. This is the extra soft like teddy dress. I just recently sold one of these in green, though it was new with tags. But this one's like in camel, kind of tan, almost like it looks a lot like sand. It's really cute. Knit dresses, especially like single color, have been pretty in. So I think that this will do well. This piece is also from like the past couple years. So that's fantastic. Then we have yet another knit piece because apparently I can't help myself with all the knit stuff. But this is Anthropology Moth and it is a extra large. I have actually had this before. It's in this like almost lavender, like blue color which I think is called periwinkle. I just don't want to sound dumb if that's not what periwinkle is. This is an extra large, which I do really like because me because anthro and extra large are not really like a common, a common collaboration. So I'm happy to find this. And even though it's off season, I think it'll do really well. It's really, really soft. And again, because it says anthro in it, it is like newer. Rayon polyester and nylon, those don't sound like soft materials but it is really soft. So somehow Anthro worked their magic and turned plastic into a very soft feeling sweater. <laughs> Next up is another sweater and it's another Madewell piece. This is Madewell size medium. I think I just recently sold this. This does not have its style number in though, so I'll have to reverse image search it. It's just a ribbed puff sleeve knit kind of sweater. It's a lighter sweater though, like quite light. You can almost like see through it. Like it's not, like it's one you could wear on like a summer or spring night. I like the color and last time I had that, it sold pretty quick. So that's nice. Kind of the exact same color. I mean, not kind of, literally <laughs> one shade off. This is a really nice find. So this was from the first day that I went and this is probably one of my best finds that I had that day. This is a super nice like coat that I think I have, yep, I have it zipped now. It's kind of tricky to show, but it's got these big dolman sleeves. It's kind of got a moto style zip, not kind of, it totally does. Front pockets, a hood and it's super oversized. So who else could it be but free people? So this is a free people size large. This is one of those pieces where actually just by seeing the materials bunched up in the bins, I was like, I bet that's a free people piece. And sure enough, I grabbed it, saw the little tab and I was like, I was right. So this is in fantastic shape. This seems like it's been more worn like once or twice. It's actually called the Come On cardigan. And I just cannot find the model picture of this color. It seems like it's mainly only sold in like green. So this is a pretty rare color, I guess. I literally have not been able to find a single another one in that color. So that's not listed when I'm filming this, but by the time you guys see this, I would really hope it is. This is nice. So this is a vintage piece and I love this. So this is a leather piece and it's red leather, which is so cool and like not common at all. It is a red leather blazer. Oh. Genuine leather, literally like fire truck red. Such a nice piece. The only thing wrong with it is there's a titch of like some color transferred right there. But honestly, like if you're just wearing this, it's so hard to notice. Even when I was taking pictures, it's kind of hard to notice. So it's by a brand called Real Clothes and it is a size 10. Again, 100% genuine leather. Oh, this is just fantastic. <laughs> I love that. And that, if that is not sold by fall, people are gonna eat this up in the fall. That should do so well. I'm hitting the stage where like, I don't know where to put things. There's piles everywhere. I think I only have two more pieces. There's a couple more pieces in the uh, washing machine, but it's a Garnet Hill cashmere sweater vest, a like Polo Ralph the Ren hat. You guys aren't missing out on anything too exciting. Trust me, I just, I had a couple things that like really need to be washed right away. Let's do this first, I guess. So this is a coat by Avec La Fille. Avec La Fille is kind of starting to go the way of blank NYC where I don't really like to pick it up. Even though it can be like anthro, free people, it's probably every, like it can be kind of everywhere, but it just like doesn't do that well. This is size medium, but as we talked about in the spring trend report, like nautical colors and nautical stripes 
stripes are really in and this is like an ombre nautical stripe situation it's also like new condition it retailed for 250 dollars it's a wool blend there's some good model pictures of it so I'm not that mad to have it. And also, I mean, I would have got this to consign for sure either way. So I'll probably hold on to this until we're like a little closer to fall. And if it hasn't sold, then maybe I'll just like consign it. The last piece is a handmade piece. And this is, oh, it was just too pretty to skip. The material is so pretty. The style is so pretty. I love this. So this is again, a handmade dress. I can't tell if it's vintage or not, but it is this really like chunky floral, as in like big flowers, print, but it's totally metallic. You t yeah, you can see it. It's like a foil metallic. All of the purple is metallic. It has, all right, sorry if that just cut off. I My phone just said it's out of memory, so I had to delete a couple things and let's like quick get through this. Thank goodness this is the last thing. So it's got these beautiful flutter sleeves to it, like super, super fluttered. Like here's the bottom, here's the top. Really fluttered. It has a really nice stitch job with this like zipper and everything. The zipper is super nice and big and smooth. It is kind of fitted at the top and then it puffs out a ton at the bottom it's like a maxi length maybe once again like a shin midi length possibly super good condition and this person literally stitched it so well that the pattern like here's a seam the pattern matches up quite a few spots at the seams so somebody professional made this i tried reverse image searching it i cannot find it anywhere it reminds me so much of the designer Autumn Adegbo, but I don't believe this is one of her creations. It clearly is just someone who's like her apprentice because like this is so good. This is beautiful. I would guess that it is probably like a large. I do have measurements. I don't have them like in my head right now, but if you're interested, I do have the measurements listed for like the waist and the chest and pit to pit and everything. But this is stunning. Like I, I couldn't let this just get totally like trashed. It's so freaking pretty. And I am not one to pick up the vintage or the handmade or anything like that. But like, I would have cried if this went to like the dump or something. So happy to have picked that up. Happy to have saved it. My memory filled up again. So this is hopefully finally the last clip to this train wreck of a haul. Let me show you the couple things that were in the wash because now they are done because that took so long. Polo Ralph Lauren hat, cute little like tropical hat. I don't know, it's pretty cute. I found this Pilcro and the letterpress skirt. This is a size two. This one will probably end up consigning because it's a small size and it's not like my favorite. It's like a peach kind of color. But of course I wasn't gonna skip that. We have an athleta vest, like sweatshirt vest. Quite cute and actually in really good shape for athleta because you know athleta always has that good old athleta pilliness. But this does not have that. So that's really adorable. This is apparently like a pretty rare Patagonia piece. There's the logo. This is a men's small and it's like called a multi pocket uh, like better jacket it's not a better sweater it's called like a better jacket so apparently that's like a rare and uh patagonia piece i did find a johnny was so there definitely was good stuff that was still in <laughs> in the wash so johnny was this is an extra small of course like back in the day i would have been much more excited about this right now yeah it's okay. <laughs> it's like pretty cute. Of course, I'm really happy to find it in the bins, but we all know Johnny Was is not how it used to be. We have a Metallica t-shirt that's from Bravado, but it's 2004. So Bravado is the one that sold at like Target and stuff a lot. But since it's 2004 and it has a front and back graphic, I think it's pretty cute. It's a size large and I kind of think it was originally men's but of course it could be like an oversized women's and last but not least is the Garnet Hill vest that I told you guys about size small this is cashmere really cute Garnet Hill has been doing so good on eBay for me that I think that'll do really well so that's all I have for you guys <sighs> okay I'm so sorry that this haul was such a train wreck I just feel like <laughs> I feel like everything I don't know why I just feel like a bunch went wrong which I'm sure I edited it I as they do it right there I'm sure I edited it out, but I feel like I slipped up on speaking a lot of times. 
I feel like half the stuff was still in the wash. I mean, not half. I feel like my phone memory kept filling up. I don't know what's going on. There's something up with today. I don't know if it's a full moon or something. It, I don't think it is, but it just, something's a little like funky. But anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. I will see you otherwise on Sunday with Ryan for a regular What Sold Sunday. I hope you guys have a good end to your week and I will see you on Sunday. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.